Welcome back to Let's Play Finding Nemo. We're in this huge place. Ridiculously long, big level. Yep, okay. So now we can actually go back to that level. So, yay. Yeah, they never give you krill for completing bubbles, unfortunately. Seems like. Surprising how much we need to backtrack that. It's just kind of weird they put the button that far back. Anyways. So we've completed two of the three, I believe. Oh, nice. Objectives for this level. Which means... We put the rocks in their place. And we also... Got... Oh, we also got rid of all the enemies. Nice. All the enemies can be gotten rid of. Oh, I see. Right arrow so you can knock it. It's like a weight. Boom. But, of course, there's always the eternal problem of the bubble rings we need to worry about. So, we're gonna... So, we're not out of the witch just yet. There's still things to be anxious about in this level. In fact, it's not even guaranteed. Not quite yet, though we have even gotten all the rings. Uh, thus far. Darn it! How much do I have to redo just now? A lot! Oh my god. Wow. This is a really long segment. There are some cron... Cron? Cron. Krill, cron, same thing. There's some... Krill that reappear here every time anyways, though. It's not too bad. Okay. Well, that was a nice setback. But at least now... We can... Look back on our work. So we can be able to the... Rocks that we put in their places. Look at that, it's beautiful. Green rock and a green hole. Explicable, strong upward current, and here we go, finally next area. Ah. And now we just need to get to where we were. I imagine there'll be a chase segment shortly after that. And not that I want a chase segment, honestly, but I expect there to be another one soon. This one's just been this non-chase segment has just been so long. Almost there, I think. I haven't actually gone through the tube yet, which I think is right here. Yes. Okay, so now we're close. I spend so much time in a one given level, you actually know your way around it pretty well by the end. It's not being patient, or at least vaguely more patient. I'm trying to be wary of things that can hit me now. I still have crew with me, thankfully, but. Don't want to waste any time. Okay. Things that don't help me at all. You can appreciate sure you can just grind for those things by dying and then going after the same shells again and again. Most shells disappear whenever you die, but I'm pretty sure the uh, ones that appear from getting a chain of bubbles reappear every single time if you die. Something like that. Oh, I see. This is weird. Labyrinth. Okay, not a lot left. But it means nothing if we don't get every single one of them. This is fun. Oh yes, thank you, Dory. Okay, only a couple left. This is definitely the last second. That was three of them. Uh, I was too... I didn't think I got all the ranks just then. So I... Didn't bother trying to dodge. Alright, so now... Even more rings. These rings will be the end of it. Alright. Oh no! Can I just like stop for a moment? Stop, please. Alright, so we only have three more sets of rings left. I know, Merlin. I actually, to a certain degree, sympathize with you all of a sudden. And go through all the ring stuff, but whatever. Just do your job and you don't have to put up with that anymore. Ah, man! You, those just kind of like appear on... There's a speed boost that you get when those appear. 
start going fast right as you see them. Um, I only have 123. I should have 124. I'm pretty sure I missed one. Unless I missed one, like, way back. I thought a moment ago I ha only had 9 left. I may really miss if that's the case. I'm hoping I either just miscounted just now, or... There's a ring left behind right now. I'm almost two. I'm gonna bury. There we go. Okay, good. Stop lagging, man. It's weird. I mean, the game normally runs at pretty much full speed, except it stops. It stutters every now and then. Stop. Man, I need to go straight back in the center every single time. The bonus level for this. Oh wow. The bonus for this level better be something worthwhile because this is quite a lot of work to get it. Alright. Swing quickly. You probably should be doing. Alright, so it's right after. I assume he always attacks in the same places. It's right after he attacks. At one point. Yeah! Look at that. That's that level done. Shoot, the summoning was ridiculous. Oh, oh my god. Button. Button. Do we really- I thought this was later in the game. Seriously, game? Freaking slide puzzle. It's only a 3x3. Three three, so it's not too bad, actually. Alright, what needs to be where? It just needs to be a continuous string. Starting at the top right. Okay. This actually shouldn't be too bad. I have, like, no experience of how you use- of how you do the whole slide puzzle thing. But... It's also pretty clear what goes where just based on things not connecting properly. Like, see if these three don't connect so you know they're not supposed to connect to each other, but this connects to that so you know they're supposed to connect to each other. That sort of thing. Or at least something vaguely like that. Except some things are certainly in places they should not be right now. Oh, slide puzzles. So I want this one up in the top right corner. I don't know anything about the strategy of using slide puzzles in any capacity. I know you generally kind of want to do, like, tight circles. And that's not what I'm doing at all right now, actually. So I think I have some of it right now. Yeah. I get this down there. Try a tight circle thing. But now I need to worry about this. Like that, but I need these two pieces swap now. Oh, wait. Is that like that? Yeah. I never made any promise of proficiency in these things. Oh, this game. I've managed to solve the slide puzzle multiple times, though I know that, just because I've beaten this game multiple times. I just like do the same circle multiple times, or at least once. Not bad. So this should be here. I know that. I managed to get that one slide puzzle earlier. 
Well, not on lock. But quite seeing how I managed to do that, considering not sure what I'm having here. Ever invented a slide puzzle, I swear. I don't appreciate their work. Well, what do I want to put where? Uh, I'll put this thing down there. This thing. Now I need to move these things around again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's that. That's going where it should be. That somehow worked out. That's more like a blind scroll sort of thing, but whatever. Alright, wire's all connected now. Boop. Oh, Merlin, please. Where'd Dory even go? Dory, she left me. I think she just got bored. Oh, there's Dory. Please. Nope, apparently the mask is somewhere in that mix. Whatever. Really, we're just gonna decide to go wherever the world takes us. We're kinda done with life after that submarine adventure. Hide and seek. Uh, is that the one I think it is? I think that I think that one's really easy going. I look forward to doing that one this one I think it is. There are a few levels in this game that actually are pretty pleasant. Oh dear, it's a raise. I don't remember there being raises at all, actually. Huh. Okay. Shoo! Oh man, we have red rings now. New speed. I guess I'll take a new mini game. It's kind of fun. And so long, on, so long as it's just a matter of hitting rings. And I have a lot of practice going through rings, as you may have noticed, game. Interesting music. I mean, do you seriously have unique music just for these bonus levels? Because it seems like that's the case. The song really reminds me of Crash Bandicoot, though. Interesting. I've never even had any real affiliation with the Crash Bandicoot series in any capacity. I've just known people who like it. Well, I guess I have seen first three. I've seen a good chunk of the Crash games now. That, uh, recently, actually, when I think about it, but that's for other reasons, not because I was interested. Actually, <laughs> whatever. Anyways, I went. Cool music, though. Alright, so that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play. Oh, shoot. Actually, look at some art. We have time. That'll just about be it for this episode of Let's Play Finding Nemo. So we have every gold star so far, with I think one exception. Yeah, it's the Dory slide puzzle. I'll probably. I, well, I, I pretty much wholly intend, actually to just get a slide puzzle solver tool online, which I know exists. In fact, I found one after last recording session. And just use that to solve the thing, because I'm not putting up with that crap. <laughs> Honestly. But we can look at this. So that would mean we have, I think, 20, 26 or 27 gold stars at this point. So just about half of the game's stuff, which I guess means they're probably about halfway through the game. Something like that. Of course, difficulty is still yet to come in some capacities. It's going to be grand. Whatever. It would be cool if I can finally see 100% this game. I don't think this game gives you anything 100%, but I would I never would have known. I don't know if... I don't remember ever reading anything about this game giving you anything in particular for anything, actually. So I don't know how the, this game's unlockables in any capacity aside from just what you... What I found myself. What you get for getting each of the... Uh, each of the gold stars in the level. That being the bonus level. And then, what you get for completing the bonus level, which is seemingly always production art. Whatever. In any case, I'll see you guys next time, the next episode of Let's Play Finding Nemo! I wonder if anybody else has actually done 100% to play through this game on YouTube. Or if they've at least shown all the lockable things. I don't know. If not, hooray! We're showing new stuff. It's discovery. Documentation. Of all the hard work put into this game. Anyways, bye guys!